Look at this. I think I got a pregnant Puerto Rico. Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? We call me on sick. I kill all that shit with the cigarette. <laughs> Dude, I got to now I'm gonna have to blur that out. Go like, inch. Welcome back. Good morning, viewers of The Hob Life. Here we are, another day. Another day stoked, another day sober, and another day going to work. I uh, hope you guys are living your dreams, pursuing your goals, and not giving a flying alligator what the universe thinks about you or what society, unique New York, society is telling you is right or wrong. Musty called me last night um, to talk about the trip down to Myrtle Beach. But he also was telling me that he's been reading the comments, which I haven't been. And he was saying that a bunch of the boys are claiming I need to come back to the comment section and just start coming back because it's way better when I comment. So uh, I could see myself moving into that. When I, well, I'll come back to the comments when I'm on the mission down south. That's what I'm claiming. And then he also was saying that people are complaining that I'm working too much and not enough shredding. But... I told him it doesn't even make sense because everybody was telling me that I have a trust fund and I don't work and all this stuff and now I'm working too much. <laughs> I don't get it boys. So yeah, I'm just doing me honestly. I have to work. I have to go to work like a normal person to uh, pay my bills so then I can go on tread missions so I can buy stuff that I want like my new bike and uh, if I'm going to daily vlog and I'm at the job from 8 in the morning till 6 o'clock at night like I was yesterday. Uh, how am I going to shred? You know what I mean? Like, trust me, I wish I was just shredding all day, every day. Like, just, you know what I mean? Like, not doing anything except riding my dirt bike, riding a skateboard, surfing, just shredding. You know, living the ultimate. But uh, I have to be happy with my reality. I have a family. I have a daughter. I have a wife. I have two cats. And I have a dog that I have to support. And unfortunately, the trust fund situation isn't a reality, so I have to uh, go to work, which I enjoy. I'd say just be stoked on your reality. Like, if you have to go to work, be stoked on going to work. If you're shredding, be super stoked that you have the opportunity to shred. Like, life, oh, there's snow on the ground right here. That's pretty crazy. A little bit of snow. We must have had some snow flurries last night. So yeah, I don't really even care, but I'm just saying like, these are catch 22s going on on the channel, like one thing to the other. Can't please everybody, I guess, is the word they say. So yeah, stoking. Headed into the job, another day of loading out dirt, asphalt, and preparing the base for the brick driveway to be laid. Stoked, Angel's gonna be back this morning too, which is epic, so here we go, on the road. Fuck are they stopping? That's a crazy cop car, dude. He's even got that cut that cop car even had a toolbox in the back seat. I mean not the back seat in the back, so like to disguise it. Wow, that was that was crazy, dude. Watch out for the coppers. Dude, you're back? How's it feel? One month on vacation? We call me on sick. You think you got COVID from the airport? It's like literally I think he put over yesterday. It's like 600 people on the airport. In the plane, right? In the plane, insane. Dude, this guy just got back from Puerto Rico yesterday. He flew here. He didn't quarantine. <laughs> what, you quarantine for 12 hours? I kill all that shit with the cigarette. You feel, si you feel sick or no? No. I feel ball. I mean, everybody is either going to get it or not. I don't even know if it's COVID anymore. I think it's just the fucking regular flu. Flu. Everybody get it. Everybody end. gets some sickness in the end. Oh. Like, what do you guys, you know what I mean? We all get sick. I don't, I don't like it though. All my family have it. Maybe I have it too. All my friends have it so, or have something. I don't know if it's the COVID. Yup. So here we are boys. We're back at it again. We got a huge pile of dirt out of here this morning already. We got to get this whole thing of asphalt out of here in a little bit. And then we got to dig all this whole thing out 13 inches down, 15 inches down depending on where we are. 
before we can bring in any stone. And whoa, it's freezing out today. Chilly willy, dude. It's it's cold. Yo, it's cold with the wind, boys. What happened there? It's gone. It's gone now. What is that? Though? Look at this. I think I got a pregnant Puerto Rico. Are you pregnant? Are you Puerto, Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> what were you eating a lot? <laughs> no. I lose 10 pounds. You don't even look that fat though. No, I lose 10 pounds, believe it. You didn't take your shirt off in Puerto Rico though. Yeah. Your face is standing, your stomach's white. Well that's normal. You're like a white guy on your stomach. Ask your Dude, I gotta, I'm gonna have to blur that out. <laughs> Miguel's still sober or no? Yes. Tell us the real deal. Two months, dude. Two months sober? No cocaine, no beer? Not, nothing at all. Does he love God? No, yeah. Is he still with his wife now? Yeah, and all his kids. Happily married? Yup. <laughs> no, he's really in the deal. Here we are. Back in the machine, boys. Back in the ma trucking machine. Put my seatbelt on. Gotta put your seatbelt on when you're operating a skid loader, you know? Oh, she's firing up now. Say hello. She's fired up. We're ready to ride, ready to rip. The boys just spent the last hour in the machines creating another huge pile of dirt. We left our little loading thing here, but we got the whole thing dug out now. We are about 13 inches down for stone and pea gravel to put the bricks on top. So now it's really starting to look like something. This is uh, how deep we are here. Had to dig along here, and then we dug the whole driveway out. This has still gotta be dug out 40 feet here, but we gotta get rid of all this dirt first, so. Not bad, boys, not bad. And it's flirting with snow. I'm not sure where you guys live, but I'm seeing pictures on Instagram of it snowing in other places. And I see, yo, I think it might start snowing. It's like, and all the boys are po posting like uh, videos of it snowing. So you suppose for us. You're it's pro, snow. huh? Welcome back. A month in Puerto Rico, you still got it, baby. Dang, I bring the snow. <laughs> I know, that's insane. <laughs> but dude, this is huge now that we have it dug out. A lot of bricks, boys. I don't think that oak tree is gonna like its life now, do you? No, he breathes better. And he breathes a lot better, but we ruined his root system. Yeah, we is a lot of people. You. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Blake, dude? It's been an hour. It's been four minutes shy of an hour. We and we're on a clock here. We need a truck an hour. A truck an hour, Blake. If we're ever gonna get this done today, we need a truck an hour for sure. That's a little guy. Mm -hmm. And it's weird. No Four white inch. No white cheese? No white cheese. Why do you think they use yellow for you? Those guys think I'm a white guy. I'm a yellow guy. <laughs> I got the same hoagie, but hopefully they put white cheese. I'm gonna be mad if they... Uh, they put white cheese on mine. I got lucky. Why he put this? First lunch with Angel in a while. He goes big dog though. Real big dog. I don't need a wild one one year. That's why you gotta get big. <laughs> All right, boys, girls. I'm getting out of here. Sasquatch started late, so he's gonna stay late. He's gonna uh, finish moving the last little pile of dirt here. Stockpile that for around the bricks. And uh, yeah, then we're looking good. We'll start bringing the stone in tomorrow morning. This guy's gotta get to work though, dude. He's got some dirt to move. Come on, boys, get her done. Let's go. So yeah, he's gotta move all that dirt. And I'm gonna drive home. He's gotta get it down to that grade there. Not that much dirt to move, actually. Here comes Pete. Here's the main guy around here. He's the uh, foreman. Petey, Petey, Peter Graffiter. Talk about moving dirt, boys. We just moved dirt for the past six or seven, I don't know, maybe eight hours, boys. We were just moving dirt. Good old Blakey boy was getting some time lapses. Epic time lapses. He was hauling dirt. The DOT was out today. Cops are out today. 
hard to move dirt at a fast pace, but we were killing it today. I think we got like six loads out of there, six triaxles, which is uh, a lot actually. Uh, now I'm just headed back to the land of thrash. Uh, yeah, to just chill because I got to be back there tomorrow to get this job done so I can go to South Carolina. Yeah, just thanks everybody for tuning in the past, I don't know, I think we've been on like a month and a half ride of daily uploads, which is cool. I, I'm not really committing to the daily uploads like yearly like I did before, but I'm kind of just going to do it, you know, as I, as I see like pushes being needed and stoked, just stoked on the channel, stoked on you guys. Stoked on all the subs, all the comments, all the positivity, and just stoked to be alive. So, yeah. Peace. Right now, I gotta keep a ton of vision. I need me a little baby who gon' listen.